It's like times higher. What am I doing? Hey guys, it's Eric from Hong Kong based in Germany. I've been fasting since I was 17 years old for almost 20 years. I want to give you guys alternative perspective about investing in stocks in China and also in personal finance. Today I want to talk about the differences of transaction fees of investing through a high street bank and through an online broker. I would use myself as a proxy because I was so curious and I had no idea how much I had spent on transaction fees with my high street bank. After I look at it, I realized I really need to share with you guys. It's so crazy. Like, what the hell? I'm using Trade Republic, an online broker in Germany, as a proxy for all online brokers. And I'm using my case, um, how much I actually spent on HSBC, and then we can have a comparison. I will also have a second video to compare similar results, but with Commerce Bank, which is a high street bank based in Germany versus Trade Republic, which is an online broker in Germany. So let's get into it. The spreadsheet you're seeing now uh, is my record of transaction. Uh, sorry, it's not very YouTube friendly because it's actually my personal record. So, um, but I will explain you guys along the way. Uh, obviously, they are in Hong Kong dollars. So I add a column on the right side, on the far right, uh, you see that they are in euros. I use the exchange rate of 0.11. So basically one Hong Kong dollar equals to 0.11 euros. So this is the rate uh, as of 1st of April, 2021. As you can see, HSBC charges around 3.3 .3 euros uh, every time I got a dividend from the companies. And no matter how much I got, it's still the same. You might get like only two euros um, dividend and you're still being charged 3.3 .3 euros. And then we scroll down. There are the charges for stock trading. It varies a lot. Here you include um, brokerage fees uh, and other bank charges. But I exclude stamp duty, fees to the regulators and fees to the stock exchange because obviously this is not something we want to compare. You can see that um, there's a big range. Uh, it ranged from five to six euros per transaction up to 33 euros per transaction. Um, the most common we see is around 14 to 15 euros. For example, here we scroll down to G resources. They charge 33 euros, even though the transaction was only 700 euros. It's like, what the f um, while we compare, if scroll up a little bit, um, this transaction costs only 15 euros, um, even though the amount of money in that was around 3,000 euros. So how much did I bloody paid HSBC for my stock trading? Last year, I paid 629 euros to HSBC for stock trading, dividends, and custodian fees. 36 euros for dividends, 560 euros for stock trading and 33 euros for custodian fees. Uh, in total, I spent 629 euros. The numbers are meaningless if we don't know the total transaction amount, right? You could have spent $600 million and only paid 600 euros, so it's not too much. Last year, the total amount of transaction buying and selling was around 97,000 euros. So if we look at the percentage, it's only around 0.6%, which is not that high. I believe that the system is based on many fixed charges per transactions with a small component related to the number of shares being transacted. So how about fee per transaction then? I had 40 stock trading, including buying and selling. Stocks sold in 2020 and their purchase would happen before 2020 or in 2020. Each of them on average cost around 14 euros. Remember this figure. So now we look at the blue column on the right side. This is the amount of fees that I would have paid if I actually used an online broker in Germany. So if you look first, um, 
On top would be dividends. They don't charge anything for dividends. Um, so it's fine, it's zero euro, pretty simple. So how about stock trading? The maximum fee is one euro per transaction. So straightforward, we had 40 transactions and the total was 40 euros. How about custodian fees? Custodian fees is zero, they don't charge any custodian fees. It's pretty simple. In total, last year, I would have spent 40 euros if I was using Trade Republic, an online broker. Oh my god, like I've spent 629 euros on HSBC for trading. It's like 16 times higher. What am I doing? I could have spared 589 euros. I mean, it's not a huge amount of money, but I could have used this money to go to Greece and travel for a few days. So what if I use a high street bank in Germany? Would it be better? Well, I had the result. I did the comparison. It's very interesting. Um, but you guys should check it out in the next video. So what do you think about this comparison? Leave me a comment below. If you like this video, remember to like it, share it, and subscribe. It will be of great motivation for us to make better and more videos about Chinese stocks and personal finance. Looking forward to talk to you guys in the next video.